Hey there, Rick Khan here, and I'm going to reveal the five top ways to beat the Facebook ad algorithm. Because here's the thing, most advertisers, they understand that Facebook machine learning is designed to use its data points that it has on me, you, and all of its users. So they can serve the best ads to get the highest conversion. But here's something you should know. What most advertisers don't fully understand are the important rules about using machine learning in the right way. And that's knowing how to use all the signals that input into its algorithms. Doing this correctly is the difference to making lots of sales and leads or even none. And that's why by the end of the video, you should be armed with the knowledge of understanding everything you need to know to beat the Facebook algorithm and work with advertising with more confidence so you can start getting purchases and leads at the lowest cost. So before jumping into it, let's just get into a few specifics about machine learning as it's evolving faster than it's ever done. I mean, AI technology over the past year or so is becoming more available and it's being used and applied to most social platforms, especially with Facebook's competition using new AI solutions, such as TikTok for you algorithms. You've got the Google paid ads and the YouTube ads, and we now have AI to use as tools such as chat GPT. And now Facebook Meta are even advancing their own AI where they've announced this new machine learning language model that they claim will be a game-changing research tool. Now, these AI advances can show us advertisers how advanced and serious AI is leading the way of some big changes in advertising. And as Facebook, they stay above the trend, so will their advertising in so many ways. And that's why it's crucial for you as an advertiser to stay ahead of the trends so you can outperform your competitors where if you consider subscribing below, I'll help you stay ahead of the trends and show you exactly what you need to do for the Facebook advertising now and in the future. But with that said, let's just go a bit deeper into what machine learning really is and what Facebook engineers are saying about it. They say machine learning can be thought of as a way to recognize and draw conclusions from connections among data. So what this means for advertising is that for every penny that we spend in their advertising machine, we're essentially teaching it with data to learn more about you, your offer, and who best fits your product or service. Just like every time that you interact with your customers or you research them, you get to better know who they are. So for every 1000 impressions you buy from Facebook, you allow them to receive more data back to better understand your offer, your avatar, and your business objective which leads to the first way to beat the Facebook machine learning, and that's to unrestrict audiences and leverage machine learning. Now, before I go into this, I just want you to know there is still merit to targeting specific audiences, where I share more about this in detail in the description below. But first, when you unrestrict audience targeting, Facebook will start to make their own audiences by using all the data points that they collected on us. And when you start spending money on their advertising machine, they'll monitor all the interactions from all the impressions you spend, look at the ad copy, monitor the scroll, who's taking up your offer and so much more. So really, by unrestricting audience targeting, you're essentially letting the machine learning get to work and find the best audiences to create itself. But let's say you restrict the audience where you tell Facebook which interest or custom audience it should target, you could potentially be blocking the machine learning from creating its own audience from all the inputs that you're putting in. So basically by inputting to the machine to focus on a type of audience, you'll restrict and limit its ability as it misses out on the opportunity of gathering a better audience. Basically, you could end up forcing your ad on people who don't want to see your ad. This will cost you more in the long term and it'll waste more ad spend where it's just not needed. I mean, if you think about this, let's say you create an audience within multiple interests. Some of those interest groups might not be in the buying market and for whatever we know, they might not even be interested in the subject that you've targeted because what we know, they could have just selected that interest many years ago and not even bother anymore about it. And since Facebook, they have a far bigger edge of knowing more about its users than us, it's a no brainer to have at least one ad set with zero restrictions. And saying that, Facebook doesn't have barely any focus on interest targeting as it used to anymore. But again, there are some reasons you should still use it where I will talk more about it in the description below. So covering audiences, let's get into the next way to beat the algorithm, which is to help enhance the Facebook user experience. You see, Facebook's primary goal is to make sure that their users have a good experience on their platform because the longer someone stays on the platform, 
the more they can show different ads to them and make advertisers spend more money so they get more. So what Facebook's looking for are multiple things that make a good user experience, such as the length of time a user stays on its platform, what people are saying when they ask people to leave feedback, how and why people scroll past certain ads, and something else to mention here, because another big factor behind the user experience is that Facebook measures compliance. Mess this up and you could literally get your ad account banned. So make sure to read the entire ad policy from top to bottom before you write your ad, where I'll leave a link to their policy below. But saying that, a good way to serve your ads to make a good user experience is to obviously understand the avatar you're serving your ad to. However, a way to measure it is when you keep an eye on your ad relevance score. Make sure to keep your quality engagement and your conversion rate ranking all at average or above average. And doing this will also make sure that your ad is being delivered over your competitors. Because the ad relevance score is Facebook's way of measuring and feeding back to you on the quality of the ad. So with that said, moving on to the next way to beat the algorithm is to try Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. Now, this is a new feature that's rolling out across many ad accounts. And it's a feature that uses the algorithms in a different way than when you set up your ad manually. Now it's used on the sales objective. So when you select sales, it will ask you to select the Advantage Plus setup or do it manually. But again, only for those who have this rolled out. Now, if you don't know what this feature does, then as Facebook states, this feature requires fewer inputs to give to its ad creation, which basically means it's a simplified way of setting up an ad. And they say the big advantage of using this type of campaign is that you're taking advantage of the machine learning at the highest level, where they state the benefits is that you can test up to 150 creative combinations and deliver the highest performing ads. And you can also use machine learning to identify and aim for your highest value customers across all of Meta's family of apps and services with minimal input. Now, before you do try this feature out though, it isn't for everyone. I've seen it work best if you're, for example, an e-commerce store and you have a big budget. So if you spend less than 20 or $50,000 a month, then it might not be good for you as there are many variations you have to test and a bigger budget will be needed, especially if the algorithms don't know much about you or your customers. So let's say if you don't have any data such as past creatives or many sales or leads, or let's say your ad account is brand new, then taking advantage of this type of algorithm might not be best for you. Which leads to the fourth way to be the algorithm, and that's to optimize your ad objective so you can input the best signal for machine learning to work most efficiently. Because now more than ever, it's important to structure your campaigns in a way that aligns with the correct objective. Because when you choose the right campaign structure for your ad campaigns, you can utilize the Facebook algorithm to help make selling easy and get high quality leads. You'll give the right input that gets specific with your goals on Facebook. And this can feed the algorithm to work best to its ability. Because essentially you're telling Facebook what to go and do specifically. So make sure to choose the exact objective that's right for your offer. Now, if you are unsure about this, I have done a full detail video that you can click somewhere on the screen or in the description below. But finally, in my opinion, the most powerful way to beat the algorithm is to remember you're not only feeding a machine, but you're using psychology and words to convey your message and build a relationship with your audience. You see, it's very easy to get all technical about algorithms and look for the ninja way to stay ahead of your competitors. But the truth is, the way you use words to convey your message and how you deliver your content through ads that focuses on your branding of your business to then create real emotional connections is the most important part of advertising on Facebook or any platform you ever use. I mean, you can get good success being a direct response marketer, going straight to your offer, but if you're not branding your business and positioning your prospects to be all in on you, your offer on an emotional level, you're literally missing out on the highest conversions possible. Because a study done by Harvard Business, it shows us that a fully connected customer can grow your business on a higher level and even increase the lifetime value, even getting people to recommend your business and increase even more sales. I mean, that's what a real business does. 
it builds real relationships with customers and it over delivers with their promises. And if this is something you would like to learn more about and how to do all this, just let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough comments or likes, I'll create a video on using branding as a way to make sales and leads. But with that said, it seems as though targeting on Facebook has changed the most drastically over the years, as a lot of advertisers are being told to use open targeting, people who use stacked audiences and so many other things, it can get confusing. That's why I've compiled the best Facebook ads audience targeting tutorial to help you understand in more detail about targeting with Facebook algorithms right here. And remember, if you like this video, I would appreciate you let me know by hitting the thumbs up. And if you need any help, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And until then, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.